Recently, the Checkmark Security Research Team discovered significant vulnerabilities that exist in the Android ecosystem, which were tested and confirmed by both Google and Samsung. At the time of this recording, the vulnerabilities were still present in both vendors' smartphones. These same vulnerabilities may affect other smartphone vendors and likely impacts hundreds of millions of Android users worldwide whose smartphones are running the vulnerable camera app version. In this video, we will demonstrate how our research team was able to exploit the discovered vulnerabilities on a Google Pixel 2 XL, since this was the device our researchers had on hand for this demo. Using a seemingly harmless mock-up weather app for the proof of concept, our team was able to hijack the camera app, bypass its permissions, and remotely force the Pixel to take photos and videos without the user knowing it. Let's go ahead and get started. First, let's look at the Pixel settings about phone. The device name is Pixel 2 XL and it's running the latest Android version 9. Next, let's look at apps and notifications and select the harmless looking weather app. The only permissions it has is access to storage, which is a very basic permission existing in many applications. Once the victim opens the weather app, the Pixel initiates a command and control connection back to the attacker without the victim knowing it. This connection persists even when the victim closes the weather app and locks the Pixel. The attacker types the letter H into the command prompt, showing the various options available. The attacker chooses Take Photo from the options below. The Pixel takes a photo as shown, then the Pixel goes back to its main screen. The attacker is now waiting to obtain the photo. And there it is. The attacker receives the photo from the Pixel and acquires the GPS data of the phone's location. The photo is of our film crew who recorded this video. Then the attacker selects Take Video. We can see the Pixel is taking a video of the camera team who recorded this video. Then the Pixel goes back to its main screen. The attacker receives the video and it is playing on their media player. The GPS data is also required. Next, the attacker selects the List Files button and they can see all of the JPEG photos and MP4 videos from the phone's SD card. The attacker types the letter G into the command prompt and obtains all of the GPS information stored for each photo or video. Next, the attacker has selected Stealth. Stealth mode uses the proximity sensor to detect if the pixel is face down and silences it so that the sound of the photo being taken is not heard. Unknowing to the victim, the pixel is now using the back camera. The pixel takes a photo of the ceiling. And there is the photo of the ceiling. Next, let's demonstrate a real world scenario. The victim is in the conference room with confidential information being shown on the big screen TV. The victim receives a voice call. Hello? Hi. Uh, what can I see your documents? Yeah, I'm sorry. These are confidential, so I'm going to need you to come here to the office in order to see them. I can't release them. I apologize. Okay. Thanks. All right. Bye. Thank you. The attacker has already established access to the pixel and has already selected the auto record button from the attacker console. The attacker selects list files. The attacker highlights the latest video taken from the pixel and selects grab last file. The attacker views the video taken from the back camera. Having recorded both sides of the audio from the voice call, not only can the attacker eavesdrop on the conversation, they also have access to the potentially confidential information in the victim's surroundings. Okay, thanks. Bye. Right. Thank you. The Checkmark Security Research Team disclosed these findings to Google and Samsung, notifying them of the vulnerabilities. Google and Samsung confirmed the vulnerabilities, and Google also notified their other OEM partners of the issues. After collaborating with Checkmarks, Google and Samsung announced that the vulnerabilities are now fixed. If you are an Android user, Checkmarks recommends making sure you are using the latest versions of the Android OS and applications.